Compare the content of two colons, it's a very common task you have to do frequently at your job. Fortunately for us, Excel can help us to find the differences between two colons. I show you. For instance, in this example, in colon C, we have a list of email and in colon K, another list of email. As you can notice, I don't have exactly the same number of rows. That means I have more email in this column rather than in this column. But how to find the differences? Because as you can notice, I don't have the same sort order between the two columns, so it's not easy. Well, I can use a function xlookup or vlookup. It's similar. Let's start with vlookup. So with vlookup, I just have to specify the value I want to search where in this range of cells. And I lock the reference of my second argument with F4 to put dollar around the references of the cells. Then the third argument, what is it? It's the colon I want to return in this selection. But of course, because I have selected only one colon, so I write one. I want to return the result in this colon. And finally, very important with the function VLOOKUP is to specify the indication false or zero to say that it's an exact match. Because by default with VLOOKUP, the false argument is true, approximate match. It's not good. You have to specify exact match in this case. And you close the parenthesis. And when I copy down this formula, you can see that I have two times NA, and NA means this email doesn't exist in this list, like this one. So it's very simple. Now, if you want to do the job with XLOOKUP, it's easier. Because you have only three arguments and not four. So the value you want to look for, this one. Where you want to look for, this colon. So there is no difference for the moment. And F4 to lock the references. And third argument, what you want to return, and you want to return the same colon, and again F4. And that's it. But of course, to let an error like NA in your worksheet, it's really not professional. But there is a trick to twist the result and to return true or false with the function is an A. So what I have to do, whatever the solution with xlookup or vlookup, it's to embed this result in the function is an A, like this. Like that, when the result is false, that means this email exists, and when the result is true, this email doesn't exist in the second list. Now, I can convert this result true-false with a conditional formatting, so I copy this formula, I select the full list of value where I want to highlight with a different color when this value doesn't exist in the second list. So conditional formatting, new rule, use the formula, the formula I have copied earlier, and I paste it here, like this. And I set a specific format fill in red like this and here we go i can change also the color of the font bold and white like this so why it works? It works because the test is true. That's very important with conditional formatting. You don't need to create a complex if function. What you just need to do, it's to indicate if the result of your formula is true or false. And when it's true, the conditional formatting apply this format.